Shire, All right, we are inside the building right now, and we have the legend inside, Louis Farrell. <laughs> Hello. Oh, that's a nice welcome. How? There was fog horns and everything. Do you know what I mean? You got the air horn. We had to get it out. I love it. We air horn. It that's the correct term, isn't it? Yeah. What's your favourite type of noise? Would you say? In in general, in life. beautiful music. Yes, beautiful music. We love the music. Lovely, wonderful, soul stirring music mm-hmm. is my favourite noise. Now and I farts, actually and loud farts. farts. Can we talk about farts, please? <laughs> No, I think we should. I think we should because actually you're the first person that's ever come on the show and started mentioning farts. Normally I mention them. Really? Yeah, I always say that farts are a great, great way to uh, break the ice on a date. Yeah. Yeah. Shows that you are relaxed, relaxed about who you are, not trying to impress. Exactly. Tell that to my wife. She's not a fan of my farts. Really? Yeah. Have you got like the loud and smelly ones or the silent but deadly? Which ones have you got? I can do the full gamut. Mm-hmm. Do you know, not to make this about me and plugging my series, which is on iPlayer, mm-hmm. but it is. It is, it's out there. Uh, I had an episode with Bear Grylls where I went to his island. He's got a private island off the coast of West Wales. He told me that he hasn't farted in years. The Bear Grylls episode is obviously out and there was a lot of talk about uh, Wean as well and yeah. uh, consuming wee. What is your thoughts on that? Um, my thoughts are that I've never done it. Mm-hmm. Actually, I did it once, but by accident when I was a small child, my <laughs> brother, when we were in the bath as toddlers, yeah. made me drink his wee, but that doesn't count. Yeah, that doesn't count because it also you're in the bath as well, so it's like cleanly yeah. wee. But I've never, as an adult, willingly or unwillingly drunk any wee. All right, another episode that you did was obviously with man like Stormzy, serious, serious, serious yeah. guy. What was that like for you as well? And also you did the high knees dance. I did my version of it. Although yeah. when I looked back at it, I was doing not quite what I imagined I meant to be doing. My knees were too high, I realised. I was trying too hard and I overdid it. I mm-hmm. overshot. It was amazing to meet Stormzy. Obviously, I'm a huge fan. And uh, it was something we'd been trying to hook up for three years. It turned out... three year, The backstory to it is that about three years ago, I read that he in, had watched and enjoyed my programmes. And then in a, in a, in a profile of Stormzy in the Observer a newspaper. He wore a Louis Theroux t-shirt, mm-hmm. which obviously was for me mind-blowingly cool. And then we ba- we, we chatted back and forth a bit on um, on Twitter. And then we, his people said like he'd love to do something, like wh- whatever it is, interview, documentary. So finally, we, we got to do it earlier this year. And mm-hmm. he was every bit as amazing and special as I'd hoped he might be. Mm-hmm. So, so kind of... Just um, thoughtful and analytical and just absolutely an, an open book in terms of downloading his thoughts in a way that felt completely honest, not in any way sort of trying to pose or be something that he's not. The, the, t- the other takeaway was he's got a geek side, which I really related to. So he's, I don't know if you knew this, but he's very big into Wordle, which Wordle. I like Wordle. And okay. then he's like, he said, he said, Louis, but if you like Wordle, you've got to get... To the next level, which is Nerdle, which mm-hmm. is the maths version. Do you know oh about my Nerdle? god, no, I don't. So I tried to do that, <clears throat> and it was embarrassingly difficult. And I and I did it for a couple of days because we were sort of texting each other back and forth with our results. I like storms. Here's my latest Wordle. I got it in three, and then I, and then he's like, "How'd you do on the Nerdle?" And I was like, "Oh," and I'd try and do it. And it would take like it was taking over my time. I'd do it for an hour, and then I get my wife involved and say, "I can't mm-hmm. do this. This is this is embarrassing." So he's a maths boffin. I mean, you was in the house. Did you see the serious bar that was behind you guys when you was uh, talking? Of course. Talking? Yeah. yeah, amazing. There but he doesn't lot. even drink. I mean, he drinks tiny amounts. Mm-hmm. The man is clean living. His um, his vice, such as it is, seems to be McDonald's. Yeah. Other fast food options are also available. Exactly. But he likes he you know and because I saw him on the last night of the tour. He, and he'd been super focused on keeping fit and eating and eating well. So as a result, his his big blowout after the last night in Glasgow was to get a massive McDonald's order in and and just eat a bunch of fries, some McNuggets, some burgers. Yeah, that was like I thought like, well, aren't we going to kick back and you know pop some champagne or bit of like a little bit of you know some whiskey shots or yeah. tequila shots and that was definitely not on the menu okay just a big mac really it was like no but you can have some more fries yeah when i was researching you do you check a lot of the comments that are on youtube not really okay well i did um a lot of the comments were saying that they want you to narrate audiobooks or do asmr are you familiar with asmr i am yeah. yes yeah in front of you we can see uh, some of stormzy's lyrics from shut up Oh, yeah. Uh, you don't have to wrap them along, but if you could just, you know, do a little 
ASMR uh, sensation to Stormzy. Shut up. Is this all I'm doing? you got to read the lyrics as oh, well. Oh, I'm reading them. <laughs> yeah, you don't have right. to Right, state your name, cuz. you got to whisper. Stormzy in it. What are we doing today? Repping in it. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking repping <laughs> in it. Fucking repping. Yeah. yeah. Fire in the park. Let's go. Let's go. That's probably enough of that, don't you think? I think a little bit more. <laughs> Let's just get to the chorus. Man, try say he's better than me. You got a whisper. Tell my man, shut up. Shut up. Mention my name in your tweets. Tweets. Oi, rude boy. Shut up. Shut up. Better than me. Shut up. Best in the scene. Tell my man, yo. Yo. I like that one. <laughs> Couple men called me a backup dancer. Do you think that's enough? I think that's <laughs> <I> think- <laughs> I think that is perfect. I think oh, that is dear. perfect. That was great. What would your rap name be? If you uh, was a rapper? I used to have a rap name. Okay. In a sense, I still do. Uh, when I when I was coming up in the late '80s, when I first started listening to rap, um, I went by King Louis. King Louis. Yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah. And in fact, uh, um, there was a there was another rapper called King Lou, I think, who was with. Uh, a group out of Toronto called Dream Warriors. My mm-hmm. definition of a boomtastic, boomtastic jazz sound or something. They were, they had a big hit. Mm-hmm. So, but I think I got there first. Yeah. So the, it's a bit like the real Roxanne and Roxanne. Ch- like there was a bit of a fight on my side over the King Lou rap moniker. Mm-hmm. But um, now I've got a rap out. I yes. mean, not boasting. Uh, my money don't jiggle jiggle. Maybe yeah. you've heard of it. And I, I have. I, I mean, Jason Derulo there as well. Jason Derulo remix. But I think I'm just credited as Louis Theroux. Mm-hmm. So technically, that's my rap name. That is your rap Louis name. Louis Theroux. Yeah. That's all right. Do you remember, I'm I don't here know, for do you remember it. Mike Jones? I'm, I interviewed Mike Jones, who is a rapper from the South. Mm-hmm. And I was like, well, I said to him, he's like, is that because you're jonesing for the mic? Jonesing used to be a slang meaning like, um, I'm, I'm craving it. Like, okay. I've got a Mike Jones. I've got a Jones. He said, no, my name's Mac Jones. That's just my name. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. It happens. And now you're Louis Faroo. Yeah. So, it so you is can do is. that. Yeah. Look at Dave. Like he used to be called Dave uh, Santan Dave. Yeah, yeah. Now he's just Dave. It's like forget the Maybe Santan. the era of like, you know, I'm 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 incredible. King Lou is over, mm-hmm. and it's just like, yeah, I'm, I'm called Phil Briggs. Yeah. I'm called Michael Peterson. Mm-hmm. Louis Theroux is my Louis rap Theroux. name. Well, I've got nothing to prove. Exactly. We're here for it. Viral sensation as well. Track out with Jason Derulo. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, it's a it's a good vibe. Yeah, it's no. It's definitely a good vibe. Definitely. Yeah, getting a lot of love. So obviously, from the eight to twelve year olds. There we go. <laughs> there we go. No, but everyone loves it though. But another thing is, obviously, you've been doing documentaries for so long as well. Now you're a rap superstar. What is on the ride? now uh that's a good question yeah. and thank you for calling me that i googled right. myself i think by accident because it would be pretty sad just to do that and it said louis through documentarian author broadcaster journalist and rapper there that made my day yeah i was like someone had bothered to actually change <laughs> my professional profile mm-hmm. on the interweb uh my rider i i think would be uh maybe a couple of uh, IPAs like I love a good IPA beer and um, well oysters we were talking about oysters mm-hmm. no I wouldn't put oysters the oysters be, I was just gonna can think, you imagine they right, they'd be there for six <laughs> hours they'd be room temperature that would be disgusting yeah then you're gonna get food poisoning now you're shitting yourself like, I there's do just too like um, I've, I've, I've been craving popcorn mm-hmm. in the last few months I've sort of discovered it. so maybe some nice popcorn yeah I'm, pretty, I'm a man of simple taste. There we go. Really. A little bit of beer and then some popcorn yeah, as well. Yeah, popcorn to soak it up. Yeah, salt and sweet. Tequila as well on the right. Can I add we that? Is need, it true? Can yeah. I keep changing the rust? Right? You know because once you come off stage, then you need something stronger. Yeah. Sorry, didn't this mean to interrupt thing. your No, point. no, no, but tequila's needed because I would and need some, some sort of, yeah, limes there as well. Don't forget I the I was Prosecco. filming with Rita Ora. Yeah who has a tequila. In fact, that's one of the episodes of the interview series. We were in Tirana, the capital of Albania, and I got the privilege of being backstage. So Stormzy's rider is all McDonald's, whatever. But then backstage with Rita Ora, and she had a a whole range of lovely beers and tequila, and and I was like, that's the kind of ride. And she'd gone off. She came off stage after doing her gig, Mm -hmm. and she'd got on her private jet. And there I am, backstage basically in her dressing room, unsupervised, 
making hay out of her ride. I flipping was loving her rider. What was going off over there? Oh, big time. A lot of tequila, mainly. Yeah. yeah like, and I think I have another one of those. Thank uh-huh. you. Just like shutting it up. Yeah. Yeah. Louis, thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank you for having Let me. Let the people know what is going on. Obviously, a Rita Ora episode is coming out. Basically, it's an amazing episode and I got to meet not just her, but her uh, significant other, Taika Waititi, legendary writer, director and actor. And um, hung out with them in LA a little bit. And uh, and then also the other five episodes are all up on iPlayer. So there's Stormzy, Dame Judi Dench, Youngblood, Catherine Ryan... Bear Grylls, and uh, they're all different, all special. So check them out, and yeah, thank you for watching. Check them out, guys, otherwise you're not snakes. (laughs) All right? Thank you. There we go.